this video I'll talk to you about DaVinci Color Space Transform and it's gonna be from converting our log footage to Rec 709 and if you've been using the LUTs for it for now you're probably gonna stop after this video because the Color Space Transform is just much better but first I had to go out for a walk and a little bit of a cheeky coffee in the forest because the weather is so nice and I had to get out and leave the house and the computer so we're gonna have the coffee now and then we're gonna go back to the house and do the tutorial cheers Alright, enough of resting, let's do the tutorial now. We are back in front of the computer. I'm Marsz Gajdzik, I'm a filmmaker and photographer based in Poland and together with my girlfriend Martina, we run a company called Slick Visuals where we produce photo and video content for our clients. Let's jump into the DaVinci Resolve and I'm gonna tell you what I'm talking about or show you what I'm talking about. So as you can see, I have my timeline over here and I have the clip that I've recorded in the forest uh, for this purpose to show you how to do it. So to convert it to Rec 709, we're gonna go into the color tab and we have all the clips over here and I'm gonna be using that one over here. And I have the first node selected and to see our color space transform. If we don't have that uh, FX on, we're gonna click over here and we're gonna search for color space transform. As, as you can see, we found it and we're gonna drag it over to our node. And as you can see, we have that options over here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select input color space and we're gonna select the Sony S Gamut 3 Cine because I know I was recording in this uh, color gamut. So I'm gonna select this one and we're gonna select input gamma. And I know I was recording in S Log 3, so I'm gonna select that. And as you can see, our footage looks good already. It's converted to Rec 709. And it is converted to Rec 709 because our output color space and output gamma is used timeline. And I have set it in my project settings and my output color space is Rec 709 SDR and Rec 709A because I work on Mac so I'm gonna be using the Mac color space for that. Uh, so that's basically it for when we want to transform it from S-Log to Rec 709. We're gonna be able to use that to transform it to something else, but I'm not gonna talk about it in this video. Uh, it's more complicated and I'm definitely gonna be making a video about it soon. But for now, I just wanna show you the conversion from Log to Rec 709 through the color space transform because I think it's the best way to transform your footage from log to Rec 709. I think it's much better than using the LUTs. Uh, I tried it and in my opinion this was working much better. I was getting much better results right away and what I like the most about it is if I work on different cameras on different log profiles I can just select that log profile and all the footage from all the different cameras, all the different log profiles like C-Log from Canon or Panasonic Log or DJI Log, they're gonna be matching to my timeline Rec 709 setting and this helps a lot when we want to match multiple different cameras to one output, to one film. Uh, this is gonna be making a little bit of that work for us and we don't have to find like 10 different LUTs to transform 10 different log profiles to the Rec 709 in our projects. So if you're using DaVinci Resolve, you should definitely try Color Space Transform if you're not using it yet uh, and try to compare it to the results you're getting with the LUTs you've been using. Uh, and I'm pretty sure you're gonna like that option much better because I like it much better. I feel like it's just it's just basically built in LUTs, but it's better than LUTs because it does the calculations 
and it doesn't apply the lat that has been made by somebody else. It works under the hood and I feel like you can make more with this than the lats. I think this is pretty much everything that I wanted to say about it. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you don't miss any of the future content. You can also check out my Instagram, I try to post there daily similar content, photos, videos, reels, uh, stories, pretty much everything about photography and filmmaking, sometimes a little bit of the lifestyle just to make it more fun. And yeah, I think this is it. So I hope you liked it and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye.